out to win by one stroke from Palmer of the USA. Winning a championship if he could hole out in one more putt. And like a born champion, he made no mistake. Charismatic Palmer played an important part in promoting the Open, and in 1962, he didn't disappoint. And at Royal Liverpool's New Zealand's Bob Charles leads the way into the final round after a blistering 66 on day three. Lima vanishes, but his ball, though he doesn't know it, is getting nearer and nearer the hole, and it's very nearly in. He's very nearly holding it. Tony Lima. Yeah, that's right. Making no mistake, Thompson drilled this cast iron approach to the last. The title now almost a set. What a magnificent shot at a moment like that. Yeah. So Peter Thompson from Australia is for the fifth time. Turn in 33, Nicholas took control. <laughs> into the perfect position right in the center of the fairway uh, he needs a five to win and I think he'll play pretty much into the heart center of the green that's where he'll be aiming I feel sure that's right in the center of the green exactly the right length moment of triumph for Vicenzo and what a roar there'll be in a minute or not, for Gary Player. That's the sort of length of putt that you want to have to win the Open Championship. Jacqueline made no mistake with his drive. Oh, it may drop in here. And there is the shortest shot that ever won a championship. And Jacqueline is the... down there. And nobody believes our eyes with the last hole, with Trevino really almost unaccountably one ahead. Plays with refreshing speed, this very important shot. And just look at the result, only about six feet from the hole. Championship in his grass. Yeah. 
sailing towards the centre of the clubhouse. Pitches boldly, no stop. My word, and it finishes right alongside the clubhouse. on the green but still a long way away Newton not out of it yet Watson on the green oh looks good here she comes pitch is short look at it run on and how about that for the final strokes beautiful shot And the cheeky lad, he's run it through the middle and played an absolute gem of a stroke. A total of 279, nine under par. Six strokes clear of the field, the largest winning margin since Arnold Palmer's victory at Troon in 1962. Watson, a seven iron to an open green. Has he got the right club? Oh, has he got the right club? My word, he's only at 18, 20 inches from the hole. Just sitting a couple of feet away. Here she comes. Here she comes. And what a moment to hold a putt. Oh, my word. To conclude that this was one man's title, but two men's championship. needs one <laughs> well the golfing gods really are with the smiling Spaniard 